to see. And actually, I think we're going to be getting right into one of them right now. Because I see a Inkling and a Duck Hunt queuing in. Yep, these two players are just... You know, we, we can talk all day about the, the best of the best, the upper seeds of any bracket. But it, it, at the end of this... Uh, of the day, it all starts at round one, of which both these players are going to be looking to proceed further and get get those chances to compete and show their stuff. And right off the bat, OFY is trying to trying to make a statement against the uh, commonly seen in New York, but no shortage of weaknesses. It is the duck hunt from Waifu SCN. Yeah. Now, is this Ophi the uh, the player from upstate New York who I remember? him from back in the day is this he used to play sonic is this the same person or is this a different ofy i would not be able to tell you but I, all i can say is that waifu is being a lot more aggressive for a duck hunt than usually seen really trying to maintain stage control so ofy is kind of catching on to that and using inkling's incredible damage output to maintain and create those leads uh, that they're really taking advantage of right now yeah, and a huge, huge lead for OFY at the start of this game. As we're seeing, oh, that roller has been connecting so, so many times. And that's one of those moves for, from Inkling. When roller connects, it's just, it's brutal. The amount of damage, the sort of kills that can be converted off of it. Okay, here's another up throw up air. The can setup actually going to be doing him in that no up air required. <laughs> I mean... You take that. I mean, I believe that Duck Hunt was in the kill window for their up throw up air percent, but if it wasn't true, but the can still works, no can at this time though. They're just gonna be ha they're gonna have to take all of their licks, and once if it, it really seems like once OFY has started to get to get going and everything just starts working, then Inkling can really jump a tier with they ha with uh, momentum at their back. Yeah, and I did just get confirmation that OF uh, Ofi is actually. Uh, PR player from Mid Hudson region, so I do believe it's the player I was thinking. I have never seen him perform in a Xeno Wi Fi, and already it's looking really good here. Almost about to three stock this duck Crap. hunt. Oh, <laughs> just standing there in field. All right, a stock does go down, but this is going to be a mountain to climb. This is the, perhaps the sort of thing where you might just start to think about what do you need to readjust because that's it. That's game one in the bag. Yeah, just a quick. Uh, not a JV, he did get clipped by the gunshot of towards the can, not the can itself, which... It matters. It matters. It does It does add a little bit of just a pat on the back for you. It's like, right, oh, he got clipped by a forward air. But still, it's it's a rough one. It's a rough start. And if you if that is the player that we are getting mentioned, yeah, uh, fourth on a solid PR, on a mid-Hudson PR, so been around the block certainly seen their fair share of variety of characters but you don't need to play uh, or you don't need to deal with just whatever duck hunt can normally do if everything you're doing just isn't getting properly counterplayed like ofy looks like he's really exploiting the fact that inkling has fallen out of the meta a little bit and waifu just doesn't look prepared to deal with inkling's obscene damage output and ability to get in your face like it's nothing. Yeah. Error. Oh, and uh, yeah, a huge <laughs> part of this was those, uh, yeah, were those those berries from the Inkling Roller. We uh, we didn't even see the up throw up air, which is normally something that, you know, Inklings practice all day, considering that having a kill confirm in this game is just a juicy thing to have. But we're going to be moving into game two right now going to be going back to the same stage we'll see what adjustments uh this duck hunt is going to make here uh, immediately off the bat eating his own can taking 45 you were talking about that damage output and here we're seeing it yeah like <laughs> inkling wins a single exchange 55 percent duck hunt five percent there's and not even any ink <laughs> it's, it's just been raw nooch and these forward airs these backers all coming into play poking uh poking at waifu yet once Duck Hunt gets stage control, and I think that's really going to be the, the the difference maker in this matchup. Like you cannot let Inkling run run house on you, because that's when the rollers become uh, start becoming that much more dangerous. And the up smash after the spot dodge really cleans up that stock, allowing uh, OFY to resume the stance that he had been in game one, which is walling out uh, Waifu and playing their best, <laughs> playing their best life. <laughs> 
No, oh, another berry is going to be coming in here. Jablock setup gets the greed in there. Is that a stock? Not quite, but oh, and there it finishes. Oh, man. Honestly, that was just so quick. The, the, the connection after connection right there. It feels like oh, <laughs> Ophi is just playing the way he wants to. Not scared at all of any of these projectiles. Another grab coming out and just m damage after damage. Oh my, it's, there's so much, uh, so many interactions that I, the position that uh, Waifu is taking isn't necessarily bad, but he's dash dancing irrelevantly. So he's not actually using it to cover space and getting caught in initial dash in this game is such a detriment because you can't shield and you can't block. All you can do is jump and Inkling's anti-airs are, or Inkling's air to airs rather are so extraordinary. Yeah, okay. and Ophi right now looking for this kill. Back throw not going to be doing it, but going deep off stage. Duck Hunt without a... Yeah, uh, too scared of the option. Ends up fast falling just a little bit too much. Misses the ledge, and that's going to be Ophi taking it 2-0. I'm honestly... I, I wasn't expecting to see Ophi in bracket today, and now I'm really excited to see what happens. I mean, I can't remember the last time I... Th I don't know if Ophi and Utopian Ray have ever played before, but... That sounds like it'd be an exciting thing to see. So we'll see if both of them actually make it that far. Yeah, that final stop was just like so good. And it, and it really kind of showcases that, yeah, well, they may not have played uh, too much in the online environment and not really trying to go out of their way to do so. Warming up for a, a soon to return offline brackets are, it's, it's worth it to do. And it's yeah. worth it to kind of get your Get your buttons ready, even if you don't make it too far in bracket, you still gotta start like playing the game.